Now, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Uh, uh, faster than you probably would. Something that occurs on earth, God must want it to happen and or allows it to happen. You've heard this argument before from a hero of both of ours. His last name is Hitchens. Mm -hmm. Fraulein Freitzel, locked in a dungeon 24 years, raped most nights by her father, mm -hmm. seven children of sodomy. Mm -hmm. One of them died, perished. She prayed, she beseeched heaven. Mm -hmm. Why did heaven do nothing? She waited for 24 years, and yet mm -hmm. her prayers weren't answered. Why? First and foremost, this is a very, very hard question to answer because most people aren't going to be satisfied with the answer. Because when they ask this question, it's often asked defensively. This is not a question asked in good faith or, or, or a question that's looking for a comforting response. It's a gotcha question. However, the existence of evil does not disprove God at all. It presupposes him. The, the question the guy asks is presupposing that there is a moral law beyond the perpetrator. He's already assuming that what he's doing is inherently wrong. Well, how is it wrong if there is no moral law? See, ultimate evil or heinous evil presupposes ultimate good. The existence of one demands the opposite. So if evil exists, good must exist. Yeah, tell, tell, well, tell everyone here what, why her prayers went well, unanswered for not, 24 years. God has not revealed that to me, so I don't know why, but I know why I don't know why. I'm finite. God is infinite. And I sometimes marvel as to why God doesn't end my life. Because I do evil, you do evil, we all do evil. I don't know why God is patient with us. Can God bring good from evil? Sure he does. Did God allow that to happen? Sure he allowed it to happen. Yeah, he's God. But if he intervened every time we wanted to do evil, would we have free will? He raped his daughter for 24 years and did nothing, Doc. Come Who on. Nothing. If God intervened every time someone committed evil, would we have free will? He thought about it, said we would not, but he was too prideful to admit it. How are these conversations intellectually honest? How are these debates honest? They're not. So one of the reasons why God allows evil is because we have a will. When God allows evil, he preserves human freedom, but he also exposes human depravity. So we are without excuse. So if we're all sinners, if we're all evil, if we've all fallen short, then no one is good enough to question God about morality. Moreover, the atheist has no basis to complain about evil at all. They have no foundation. This is not, a, this is a question for my worldview, but you have no grounds by which to say rape is wrong. Correct? Are you serious? Forceful sexual assault? Yeah, that's what? wrong. Everyone what? here will agree with that. And Cody, I have no grounds. Cody, how is it wrong if there's no God? Is it just your opinion? No, it's everyone in this room's opinion. So majority vote. Raise your hand in this room if you want to get raped. Cody, Cody, ma majority vote does not determine right No and wrong. one. Otherwise, Zero people. Otherwise, you'd have to say the Nazis were right in murdering Jews, homosexuals, gypsies, and Jehovah's Witnesses because they voted that way. Systematic extermination of people based on their beliefs is incorrect as well, Doc, and you know that. I know it. You know it, too. You just have no way of justifying it. Either this kid is not intelligent or he's very deceptive because he's not understanding that, according to his worldview, he has no foundation apart from God to complain about evil. He believes society or the majority can determine what is right or wrong. So if the majority says chattel slavery is acceptable, then according to him, it would be morally right. But that is absurd. But that's what he's claiming with that type of logic. Systematic extermination of people based on their beliefs is incorrect as well, Doc, and you know that. I know it. You know it, too. You just have no way of justifying it. Other than massacre and senseless extermination? Again, again, Cody, you're stealing from God to argue against him. You have no standard from an atheistic worldview. You're, you, you, you know in your heart what you're saying is true, that it's wrong to murder and rape people, but you have no way of justifying that 
other than your own personal opinion. Now, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Uh, uh, faster than you probably would. Reality is atheists have very strong opinions, but they're not a basis for right or wrong. The question of evil is often asked in bad faith. It's not asked with the intention of understanding the conversation or the argument. It is often asked to make God seem immoral himself. But the problem with that argument is he's immoral according to who? Whose standard of morality are we using to judge God? Human standards? Human morality? Well, our, our standards are very low. But even if we were using our standards, the question becomes where did our standards for morality come from in the beginning. Some will say, well, it comes from a desire to survive. We don't want to harm other people. Well, why is harming other people wrong? Well, why is surviving morally right? Well, they say, well, we, we need to survive to propagate our species and we don't want to experience harm. Therefore, we don't want to harm others. That sounds a lot like the golden rule. Sounds like something that God established. Well, people say, well, that existed before Christianity. Well, it didn't exist before God. We can't escape the fact that morality, it comes from God. Dr. Turek, you don't have if, to. If I gave have, you a you, book. You would, you would never dream of justifying rape and murder I don't. and torture. I you don't. would never dream of justifying that. I don't justify that. it and neither do you, but I just have a source to know why it's wrong where you don't. Evil merely points to man's sin. Adam and Eve sinned. They brought sin into the world. God is not the author of sin. Man is. But God didn't say, well, they sinned. Now they're going to be punished because they broke my law. No, instead being rich in mercy and he loved us so much, he sent his only son to be the payment for that very sin. So evil was poured out on Jesus and he absorbed the penalty in the consequences for our sin upon himself on the cross. The solution to evil is in the person and work of Jesus. So if someone asks you, why does God allow evil to exist? Tell them it's to demonstrate his good. And God so loved the world that he gave his only son to die on the cross to resolve sin, to rid the world of evil, and that whosoever believes in him will have everlasting life. So the solution to evil is God himself. As long as you're open, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? You said yes, so I'll give you a book. All right. If I knew for a fact that Christianity was true, I'd be the first to bow down and, and worship on high, Doc. There's no question. Beautiful. You still haven't Let's answered the happen. question. You have still have not answered the question. Uh, oh, I, Why I, are women and men raped every day and God does nothing? Okay, because we you have can't free answer that question. Yes, I can. Let me, let me answer it and then we'll move on to Scott. Okay, because Thanks, we have free will. And if God intervened every time we used our free will, this wouldn't be a moral universe. If you enjoyed this video, you want more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Like this one, I'll be back next week with another one. This is Pastor Frederick. This is about a book. Peace.